Moped needs some welding and take an exhaust, so might as well drop it back into the wagon. Oh, I really better not get scratched. I'll never hear the end of that. On the iPhone, because didn't feel like pulling the cameras out. This is running, ish. Needs a little bit of work. She's about, I don't know, eight, 10 kicks. But it is running. I can get it started consistently. I think part of the issue is I overbent the kickstand because on a two by four, this fires up way better. So I got the old plugs laying there. Old plug wires, rather. Old plugs are down there. New plug wires are on there. Not the best. I like these old ones better. We'll see. But moped's gone. So yanked that out of the... Well, yanked it off the lift. Put it in the back of the Volvo. So that's going to the shop. Had the day off today. Which doesn't actually mean a day off of relaxing. It just means I got to rearrange the shop. So I will try and get a video of that tomorrow. We flip-flopped the welding table. Moved a ton of stuff. Made a ton more space on the ground. But moved all the welding stuff along the back wall. Put the TIG welder up on a cart. Got rid of the table. Moved the bench over. And then flip-flopped the dumpster. The one biggest... Oh, I'm filthy. Uh, the biggest complaint I have at my shop is the fact that I gotta keep the dumpster in there. Takes up a ton of ground space, but you don't get a bunch of people throwing crap into your dumpster, and I get it. It's just slightly unfortunate. So, moped is in the station wagon. That'll go to the shop tomorrow. I got a new torch for the TIG welder, too. Flex head. We'll give that a run through. Hopefully that works a little bit better because I melted the lines on mine when I was building the burner box for the gas conversion on the big oven. Moped's off the bench, so we got a good amount of space here. We got two carb options. We got the smaller one. Well, this is the bigger one. VM20, VM18. I'm leaning towards remaking a new intake to make this work for the 18. I kind of like the smaller volume, higher velocity approach. Not positive what we're doing on that. This is kind of running again. That's what I meant to say. We ripped it around. Fantastic. I posted the last video of this. Doing a kickstart, trying to get it going. The weather's been cooperating. I think the rest of the week is supposed to be in the 50s. So we might have another one of these come in here for you soon get it fired up and run it again. I rode it yesterday. It was still 30s. Um, it sputtered a little bit, but it ran better than it did in the last video. So I think at this juncture, this thing's been sitting for a little bit. And with the fuel leak that was happening out of the carb, I think I'm just going to pop the carb off and do a quick, quick, quick carb clean on that. Give that a once over. Definitely starts easier on a two by four. So, got it on 2x4 now. I think I overbent the kickstand. It's probably flooding a little bit in terms of cold start. So before I go any further, I'm outside of the carburetor, I am gonna drop the bull, just blow through the jets. I'm not taking jets out. We're still too rich on the mixture. I'm two and a half turns out right now. So that can get dropped, but that's where we're at. Almost an empty bench-ish. Get that set up, we'll weld some stuff. I was gonna put the ignition stuff in the other day and then I remembered that I have to weld on the bike and I don't like welding with electronics attached. So the ignition stuff will go back on after. So we gotta fab up the intake, we gotta make the exhaust and we should be in pretty good shape. Other than that, spend a ton of time cleaning. This garage is kind of coming up next. So, oh, she's running again. Two by four and a half inch board. That made all the difference. I think I've been flooding this thing with the chopper stand. And now we're out of gas. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Been having a hard time starting this with it on the kickstand. It works perfect. I don't want to adjust the timing because I have been consistently getting this started. 
But I took a two by four and a piece of fence material from the fence. That height is where I want it. So I definitely overbent the kickstand with the Makuni on there. I think it's leaning over too far. I was kicking this for 10 minutes. Not even a, I mean, it was coughing and spitting and I could see a little bit of fuel shooting out the overflow. Put the boards down underneath the kickstand and got the bike a little more vertical. Still plenty of leverage. I don't have to worry about it falling over. So now I've reached that weird point of, I overbent that one. So I'm either gonna have to torch and bend that one back or grab a stock one and rebend one softer. She likes that. I didn't see any of the fuel getting sprayed out. Now, I'm not stupid. I did look through the bore. I didn't see any fuel getting poured. Like, if the needle was stuck, which it was the other day, I didn't see any of the effects of that. It didn't look like fuel was pouring into the intake or anything like that, but that's helped quite a bit. So I just ran the float bowl completely dry. We'll try this again tomorrow. We got a couple days of 60 degrees coming in the next, pretty much the rest of the week. It's 50 plus. So let's close this. That's kind of where we're at. Thanks for watching. Quick little update. Moped's gone. Chopper's over there. Tomorrow will be either a intake manifold fab time lapse with some welding, or we'll come back to this turd. I don't really know. Based on the responses to the last video I just posted, I should only be doing videos on this. You guys like these. Mopads, not so much. I didn't expect everybody to jump on board with that. So if you are one of the ones that have been sticking around through the Gorelli build, thank you. I appreciate that. I know it's not for everybody, but it's old fun two-stroke stuff. It's what I'm working on. I don't want to be a designated Harley channel, even though I like doing the Harley stuff. The mopeds are fun, and this is new and fresh, and Dottie's on board, and we've been having a good time with it. So thanks for sticking around. More of this tractor junk pile coming soon. Catch you on the next one.